I've lost my loved ones. Every other doctor I know is losing someone. Our inboxes, our calls, we've been constantly receiving distress and SOS calls and we've been trying to help and we can't. Most of the times we can't with all our connections and contacts. In today's day and age, even a doctor is not assured a bed in the very hospital that he works at if he comes positive or if his family. Hi, I'm a resident doctor on my COVID shifts in Gujarat right now. There is something that I want to say and share as a frontliner. Stop using words like war, sacrifice, talking about matters involving doctors or healthcare professionals' lives. Just because the system is such a massive failure, there is nothing brave. If a doctor has to return back on duty after attending funeral of his parents because there are no doctors to replace him or a 21-year-old intern dies and she is considered a martyr, a corona warrior. Stop! Don't do this. We don't want titles or laurels. We don't want any of that. We want a basic healthcare system, basic infrastructure, which doesn't collapse. We had one year to prepare. The basic healthcare system, the structure is in such shambles. And it is not that this system was not broken before. It was. But now everyone is feeling the pinch is because even the rich are now being affected because it has reached their homes. Countless people are dying out on the streets. They can't breathe. This country can't breathe. Someone has a political connection. Someone knows somebody. You make a few calls and even if you are not critically severe or even if your reports don't show, still you'll get a bed in the top corporate hospitals. I hate to say this, but that is the ground reality. Does anyone give a thought to all those workers, all those people there working in the crematoriums and the graveyards, non-stop burning bodies, what about their PPE? They don't deserve a safety gear. When I think of the cast and class dynamics in this, and even as a doctor, you know, it just hurts me. Vaccination drive, no one knows how it's going to be. And yet, we had very proudly proclaimed that India is going to pave the way in fighting the pandemic. And we were exporting vaccines when to other countries when we needed it so much. Why? I mean, why? And yet, we aren't allowed to speak. Instead of focusing, instead of doing what it could have done in the last one year, what does the establishment do? It bans the social media accounts and handles of the people who are just reaching out for help. It confiscates properties. It does kumbha melas. I don't know what is the point of anything anymore, really. I've lost my loved ones. Every other doctor I know is losing someone. Our inboxes, our calls, we've been constantly receiving distress and SOS calls and we've been trying to help and we can't. Most of the times we can't with all our connections and contacts. In today's day and age, even a doctor is not assured a bed in the very hospital that he works at if he comes positive or if his family. I underwent this. I've experienced this when my father, whose saturation dropped, way below 90 and I couldn't get a bed. You just feel so helpless and there is nothing that you can do about it. It's not that people dying of COVID hurts. People are dying because of the lack of infrastructure, unavailability of oxygen, hospital beds and criminal negligence. For those who would tell me, why are you spreading being a doctor? Why are you spreading more negativity? Why aren't you spreading more positivity? Be more positive. You think of a doctor who is single-handedly managing around 100 patients in any government setup and he doesn't have enough ventilators. He doesn't have enough resources. He doesn't have oxygen support, oxygen cylinder, BiPAP. How, how is he supposed to take a call? How is he supposed to manage? This is not what we are trained for. We train to do procedures. We train to save lives. Not how to manage resources. When I lose my patient, and I do everything I can, it kills me. And the amount of mental trauma that healthcare workers are undergoing every day in their the continuous shifts that they're doing in COVID, it is just too much. It breaks all of us. We really don't need laurels or titles. We'll be okay if you don't even call us Corona warriors or COVID warriors. What we really need is a healthcare infrastructure, healthcare system, more allocation on the health budget. Nothing else matters right now more than that. In a democracy, you're believed to ask questions without being expected to give up the solutions. That is what a democracy is.